Ask Reddit Thread, what are you the top 1% at? Mobile data users pushed one terabyte through my phone tethering last month. That's... That's a lot of data. Are you running a server on your phone or something? Uh, cough. Yeah, a server. That's right. You wouldn't download a car. Yes, I would if I could. I would download the shit out of a car. Why was there <laughs> shit in the car in the first place, though? <laughs> oh, you... <coughs> I don't get it. Why would you ever need that much? Uh, I don't have cable or internet. I use my phone for internet. Okay, now I can have my rent around that. It's also close, if not faster, than most providers in the area I am. I get 50 MPS down, 70% of the time on 4G LTE. Okay. Uh, let's see. Seriously, though, what the fuck are you doing to warrant that? Are you a cop? No, I most certainly am not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I pay $75 a month roughly How? You have unlimited data? Yes, cool, I'll just go kill myself now uh, SSX, tricky Used to watch people get high score runs on YouTube Then go beat Only game I've ever been really good at SSX, tricky Search Google for SSX, tricky Oh, like a snowboarding game. Snowboarding game. Uh, probably knowing stuff about Tolkien and his work. I'm doing a PhD thesis on him. The real question is if you could be Colbert, Colbert and a Tolkien face-off. I'm not sure Tolkien could be Colbert and a Tolkien face-off. <laughs> You're dead, men. Don't talk, matey. I'm not convinced anyone can beat him. After watching him spout out some of his knowledge, I can say with absolute certainty that I can totally beat James Franco on Tolkien trivia. <laughs> That's such a Boromir, Boromir thing to say. A doctorate in Tolkienology? Are you hoping for more LOTR movies to get work? No, a doctorate in English literature. He's just my focus. Hopefully I'll work in academia once I'm done. Hmm. Got fired from my job 20 times in one year. What? Are you a gun? Wow, how does that happen? Also, is there a montage of this? So on average, you worked about two weeks at each job before getting fired. My god, you either did that on purpose or you're the most colossal fuck-up the world has ever known. Except for your interviewing <laughs> skills. Are you Dagwood Bumstead? Uh, rareness. I have red hair and blue eyes. The rarest minority in the world. Dang. But wait, are you left-handed? <coughs> I have red hair, blue eyes, and am left-handed. Holy shit, I never thought of that. Dang. Green eyes are rarer. Real green, not those green, brown, slash yellow imposters. Really? Living in Ireland, loads of people have blue eyes and red hair. Some are more ginger than others. Probably more common than brown eye and red hair everywhere else. Uh, hitchhiking. Put down about 1,400 kilometers, probably on the top percentile. Uh, how much is that in miles? Masturbating. Although I have this feeling I'll be beaten soon. You merely adopted masturbation. I was born in it, molded by it. Nothing. Modesty. You fucked that up too. Uh, CSGO. But so many people play it that being in the top 1% means you still suck. True, you're just another global elite. After Even after you hit a global, you still have a ways to go to get to an invite team. Invite? Hell. You got a ways to get to an IM team. Competitive play requires a lot of teamwork and knowledge you don't really need in MM. Uh, being a complete bitch in university Facebook groups. Absolutely, completely in the top 1%. <laughs> Upvote for honesty, bitch. Thanks, and fuck you. Wow, what a bitch. I don't tell lies, and your mom's a bitch. Well, I do, and if she's a bitch, she's my bitch. Wait. Uh, those who can play the complete organ works of Bach from memory. Here's a vivid example. A vid example of Bach. Fuge. <coughs> Watch it for the fugi, fuge, fugu subject to be played by feet on the pedal keyboard. 
If it ain't Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, income to workload ratio. I get paid very well and do very little. It's a gift. Are you also an engineer? This is Reddit. Of course he's an engineer. Humans that my cat likes. 1% is still a pretty huge amount of people. It's probably closer to 0 0.00001 of people. Didn't want to brag. Income. Global. Uh, all rich list. Down with the 1%. The 3%. Down with the 3%. The 5%. Psh, posers, I'm not even in the top billion. Top 20.5% represent. Woo, top 0.33. Okay, let's just get this part. Uh, at age 62, one of the very few programmers still getting paid well to write code. Wait, are you saying that programmers don't get paid well or that 62 year old gra programmers don't get paid well? Unfortunately, programming is dominated by younger people. The career length of a professional programmer is similar to that of a professional athlete. This is bad since us old guys have a lot of experience and are good at what we do, but it doesn't matter. Very few companies want to hire older programmers. Here's my antidote, antidote, antidote on this topic. I've been a professional programmer for 10 years. Worked at companies sizes 400k employees, 40k employees, and 500 employees. The pay has been exceptional. That said, I am also <clears throat> I am already feeling tired. Another 10 years, I don't know if I'll care as much. And I probably won't be able to work as hard. Good on you for keeping for go for keeping the fire going. But for me, I'm targeted in early retirement. Hot shot coding is a young person's game. Coding is boring. I tried it when I was looking for what I wanted to do out of high school. Too boring, not for me. <clears throat> Four lasting less than six, 30 seconds. League of Legends, 1% of the population plays it and I'm top 1% raking in game. 1% of the population plays it? Sadly took my answer, but regardless, same. Huh. I know a lot of people play it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't say one percent of the population plays it. Uh, maybe the population of whatever country you live in. My eyes are very green. Apparently, I want one percent of the world's population has green eyes. Ooh, love green eyes. At one point, I was number one out of two million people on the leaderboard for Assassin's Creed Three. Uh, high scores on Snowdrift on MiniClip.com. I got a 34 on the ACT back in high school, so standardized test taking? Same, not that it's good for anything. My parents made a huge deal about me being picked in the top percentile, and all that did was make me think I was smarter than everyone else and didn't need to study or work hard. <laughs> Fuck. Yep, did well on both the ACT and SAT. Didn't work hard in high school and still had decent grades in tough classes. Got to college with no idea how to actually study. And made it through in four years because I had friends who taught me how to do so. That was me. Except I didn't have friends to teach me how to study, I had to teach myself. Ah, oh, damn high school for being so easy that you don't actually need to study. <clears throat> I am Lady of the Golden Horse House. Horse who? Horse? Oh, horseshoe. I was missing the, the S. Which is the highest honor given to less one percent of all West Virginians who take a test in eighth grade and get knighted. What? I don't like to brag about it, but I'm kind of a phenomenon when it comes to envisioning what a pair of breasts look like underneath a shirt. <laughs> Did you imagine them with dick nipples? No, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> yeah, co nipples on this planet, superior race. In all honesty, lying. I don't believe you. Top 1% of the number of people who commented here, sorted by old, double action boogaloo, uh, tongue length perhaps, I can touch my nose with it easily, but can you lick your elbow, uh, making myself come, I've got it down to an art form, do you practice every day, maybe not every day, but I'd say 5 to 6 weeks for the last 20ish years, persistence has been the key. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon just by having help proofread my PhD. <clears throat> my girlfriend is one of the top 10 most knowledgeable people in the world on the subject. 
I don't mean this in a really smart kind of way. I mean it in a nobody at all cares about my subject kind of way. In a related note, if anyone needs a good underwear basket weaver, I'm your man. Underwater basket weaver. Underwater basket weaver, what? I'm about 40 pounds from the 1,000 pound club, according to Slash Fitness. I'm probably in the top 1% in terms of strength. Wait, what? A thousand pound club. I was in the thousand pound club in high school. It wasn't exactly that hard to get into. How do they do it? I mean, it was kind of hard. Uh, defining your goals, exercise. That's the thousand pound club on slash fitness. I want to see how they measure it. Uh, control F, thousand pound club. Uh, I don't see where it's at. Yeah, I don't think it really shows anything. <coughs> you weigh 960 pounds? No, 1,040. Congrats, does breaking into the thousand pound club really put you the top 1%? I couldn't tell you exactly, but there were very, very few people under 18 or over 40 who would be in it, and very few women as well. So that rules out a pretty huge swath of the population right away. Oh, if you're a woman, that, that is actually kind of impressive. After that, even amongst regular gym goers, most people wouldn't be close. Hell, I'm not even in it myself. Still got a bit to go. Whew. <sighs> Squatting, deadlift, and bench. I don't know. If you include deadlift, then it's easy as shit to get in. Remember, my squat was, yeah, 425. My deadlift was a something 400, and my bench was 300. So I was uh, stronger than this pleb in high school. Pleb, we used to do it by squat, power cling, and bench. And power cling was hard. Hard as shit, because... It required uh, precise technique and a shit ton of strength. All at the same time, it was a really hard to do deadlift. That <coughs> also involved a squat and putting the bar above your head before throwing it to the floor. Just Google power cling. Ugh, it's such a pain in the ass. I would have killed if deadlift was included in the thousand pound club thing. Whew. Yeah, if you go by this standard, it's easy to get in. I mean, it was for me back in the day. I don't think I can bench 300 anymore. I don't think I can bench 200 anymore. Uh, you could beat Master Chef in a lift competition. Wow, I Master Chief. I mean, wow. I think I'm at a hundred thousand hundred or so. Didn't realize that was one percent. Guess I lift at the wrong gym. No, the right one. If you're the strongest man in the room, you are in the wrong room. Mark Twain probably. <laughs> Uh, being lazy, but really, I am so lazy. I'm only in the top 2% of laziness. I mean, half the time, I don't even finish my pull-ups. My record is 35. I doubt it. You probably kick your legs up and do the worm like CrossFits. Crossfitters. Does that help you do it better? I found the power lifter, guys. I remember in high school, uh, even when I could bench 300, I could still only do about like 5 pull-ups. Those were hard. Maybe because, I don't know, I weighed like 230. But even then, I should have been able to do it. They were just so hard, though. I don't know why. I could do them, but I couldn't do many. I could do like 50 push-ups in a row. I, that was my highest record before I collapsed when I tried to take a small little break before I did the next 50 because I was going for 100. Uh, pesky crossfitters. I mean, it's not that incredible that you couldn't believe him straight away, though most people do have shit for but oh well. Reddit Carmen Karma. No, you're not top 1%, you're top 12. Uh, number 835, not bad. Damn. How do these people have so much karma? Do they do Reddit as like their job or something? Uh, 
Wow, Undin is still above Vargas. Also, I'm 25250 for Comet Karma. I want to stay there. That's a nice number. Jesus Christ, you have over two years of gold left? Yes, and I've had gold since 2013. How much have you bought versus been gifted? I've never bought gold for myself, so all the gold has been gifted to me. Damn, that's impressive. Some of them were good comets, some of them were crap. It's kind of hit or miss as far as what's going to get gilded in my experience. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. That almost makes me want to try to comment more on stuff to try to get gold. But then I think, that is such a huge waste of time. And for no benefit. And it wouldn't really even be that fun. I was like, eh. Eh. It's literally just not worth it. But, I mean, good for the people who do it. I guess they get some kind of joy out of it. Or whatever.